Hey, today we're going to have a look at the Hario Mini Mill and how to use it. The first thing you want to do is, you know, put your beans in the in the grinder. So for that, we will take off the lid and the handle that sit on top of the grinder, and then we'll be able to fill the beans into the hopper of the grinder. You want to make sure that you're only putting the beans in that you need for the coffee that you're making. So. No excess beans are sitting in the hopper and are getting stale while you're not using the grinder. Now when it comes to grinding there are a few different ways to go about that. You could put the grinder on the bench, hold it there and then grind while you're holding it onto the bench. However, that will be a bit more difficult because or you'll have to put in a bit more force because you have to hold the grinder in place as it doesn't have any like rubber thingy at the bottom that would uh, keep it stuck to the bench and with the plastic um, of the tube at the bottom it would easily just slide over any surface. So this is why I usually grind with the grinder just uh, in one of my hands and then I hold it against my belly and um, that will just keep it there and then I grind with the other hand. That will keep the grinder very stable and from sliding anywhere else where it's not supposed to go. Grinding will usually take somewhere between one and two minutes depending on how much coffee you need and what kind of coffee you're making. You can empty the grinder by screwing off the plastic tube that is on the bottom of the grinder and then you'll be able to put the grinds into the group head or anything or like whatever vessel you're using for the grinds. However, you want to make sure that um, you don't have any clumping going on in the tube which can happen because it is very narrow and um, the, the grinds that sit in there um, tend to easily clump together and then they'll fall out in big pieces or like big balls of uh, coffee grinds which you really want to avoid. So before you um, empty the, um, the tube you can just tap it against your group pad or anything that is available at the time to loosen up the coffee grinds and then when you're emptying it try to, to not hold it very steep but at a rather flat angle and twist it around um, while you are emptying it. It is really easy to set the grind size with the Hario Mini Mill. You can just take the plastic tube on the bottom off and then at the bottom of the grinder there will be a little nut that um, adjusts the spacing between the ceramic burrs. So when you turn the nut all the way to the right or clockwise then you'll um, have the finest setting and you get the finest coffee grinds out of that. From there on you can um, turn the nut with clicks and every click counterclockwise or to the left will make the grind a bit coarser. And you can play around with that and see what kind of grind fits your coffee best. To clean the mini mill you can take the plastic tube off and rinse that out with water give it a good scrub and make sure there's no like coffee dust or anything left in there and then you can leave that to dry. With the grinder itself you can use a paintbrush and brush off all the, the coffee dust, all the grinds that have been sitting in there and but don't really use any water with that because it's not good for the ceramic burrs. And then after the plastic cube, tube has completely dried and uh, you've cleaned the grinder then you can just put it back together and use it again.